Over here we have a fridge. A very, very big fridge with a lot of food in there, including these metal hot dog things. Hey guys, Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Sky Base Community Project episode. Now last time we left off, we actually built the maintenance room, which is below us, with an engine room that contains an engine and some boilers. Now, a lot changed since last episode, but before we go any further, I want to ask you guys a question. What type of games would you guys like to see me play on my channel? Because Scrap Mechanic's nice and all, it's my favorite game. But the problem with Scrap Mechanic is it takes a lot of time to record and edit. So I'm trying to get a little bit more diversity on the channel so that you guys can enjoy multiple different games. As this one takes a lot of time, like I said. So leave your suggestions in the comments, guys, and um, we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's begin. Now, the first thing you notice on the right here is... There is actually railings here, and there's a do not enter sign. Now, we're going to get back to that in a bit. We're going to head up to the commander's room. The commander's room also changed. If we go up here, you guys will see that there is a huge briefing table here. This um, isn't perfect, but it looks awesome. Pretty sweet. Um, a lot of you suggested this, and it is an awesome idea. It's a little uneven, which makes me... Very mad, actually. <laughs> I'm not going to change it, though. It took a lot a lot of uh, work getting that to look nice. Anyways, um, if you guys have any suggestions for this room, please let me know. We're going to head up to the helipad now. And there's a little change up there. Now, if you guys have seen my last episode, my update video, the workshop update is actually being worked on. So what I did here is I actually removed the VTOL because the VTOL wasn't the greatest and I'm not the best aircraft designer. Now I'm going to be looking for some more VTOLs with the permission of the um, creators to add it to my base here. Or you guys can once you play. But anyways, uh, what we can essentially do with the workshop update is we can place the lift down here. Press E. And you guys will see that there is our creations right here. Here's the VTOL. We can spawn it in if we want. Just like this. There it is. And we press E again, delete it, yep. Now, if we really wanted to, we could spawn a car up here like this, but there's no point in that. <laughs> so if you guys want to download these creations yourself, you can. Go on my um, Steam profile link below, and there's the workshop, and you guys can enjoy it. Now, I'm going to leave this like this for now, and we're going to head back down. And I'm actually going to lower some of my settings to get a little bit better performance. Alright, there we go. This is how I usually play, just to get better performance while I'm building. I'm gonna head back down here. So if we head back here, there will be two new rooms. That one up there, which we built last episode, but it is completely different now. And the one below. And the one below is actually our new kitchen area, our dining room. It looks pretty sweet. There's a nice little table. We got a working grill here. Kind of goes through the top fans there. <laughs> it works though. So. Over here we have a fridge. A very, very big fridge with a lot of food in there, including these metal hot dog things. Anyways, we're going to close that up. <laughs> and I think this room's done, but I'm not sure what else I can add. We're going to head upstairs now, and we're going to take a look at what changed. There's a big do not enter sign here. And once we get up here, you guys will notice there is this entryway here. And this is actually a security door for a reason. So we're going to open this back up. It's a two-way door. we got like a little retina scanner here that doesn't actually work. And we're going to close this here. And this is going to be our control room, guys. A lot of you suggested this to be the control room. And it is actually a really good idea since it overlooks the elevator here. And I guess it would be a very good briefing thing. And they could call security and stuff if they really needed to. Not technically, but in a sense if you're role playing. But over here, there is two buttons. This one opens up the mechanics in the back for the door. And it also holds the mechanics for a secret. Now you guys might be able to spot it here. Um, it's kind of uneven there. But what this is going to be, this down here is going to be a secret room. Now this is going to lead us to the secret laboratory and maybe a few other things. Now I also might add a secret room in the fridge below in the kitchen, but I'm not quite sure yet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually design this room here really quick. 
to make it look like a control room. So we need like a little control panels and stuff lining the walls here. And I'm not sure how to really design those. So we're just gonna we're just gonna crap shoot it kind of. All right, so I'm gonna start off by adding some uh, touch screen panels, I guess. We're gonna use glass here. We're just gonna make it go like, um, how many should I put? Three? I think three would be good. Then we're gonna just paint this up a different color so it's not completely see-through. I think uh, dark blue would be good. Ah, that looks all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we need to add our control panel. I'm gonna have this behind the wall here where we have the other ones. Put it up here. We're gonna hook this up to that there. And these are gonna go about 45, 30 to 45 degrees, not 75, 45. Let's see what that does. Oh, wrong one. We gotta put it on the initial constraint right there. That's too high. There we go. I think that looks all right. Kind of looks like a, just like a control interface right there. Um, maybe we can add some of these wedges here. There we go. And we don't want too many buttons. We're gonna just use two there. We're gonna paint those. go and now I'm just gonna copy this over to the other side there all right here we go looks pretty good now we're gonna add some of the other panels on the sides here maybe some taller ones maybe something like um, we should have them exactly in the corner right about here there we go then we'll have glass Maybe the bottom half will be a different block. Okay, there we go. Looks good. Add some random colors. This one over here will be red. There we go. Now we're just gonna add a uh, screen up top there. Okay, that looks pretty sweet. And now we're gonna add a single control panel in the middle here between the two windows. There we go. And now we're just gonna add a little radio so that they can communicate with the control room above as well. Just gonna use these blocks here and the radio up on top of them. The other way around. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna have this hooked up to a controller. The one up there. So that we can turn it. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. There's the control room. It looks pretty sweet. If you guys have any suggestions for this room, please let me know. And um, this is more of a short episode as I'm going to be working on the secret rooms a little more. If you guys have any suggestions for the secret rooms, please let me know. I think I'll have two soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.